Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to Heartland Farm, our first episode of The Toy and the Real McCoy, an idea that I had while we were taking a road trip earlier this week, uh, kind of a play on a book that the Ertle Toy Company put out uh, years ago that we still sell at the dealership that focused on a toy tractor and then went on to give an explanation of its real-life counterpart. So when you're driving a lot of miles and everybody else is asleep, you got to do a lot of thinking, and so this is what I thought up. I hope you enjoy it. It's something that if we have some response and people like it, we'll, uh, we'll do it again. We've got a lot of fun stuff to share here, and we're looking forward to doing just that. So in my hand here today is going to be the first toy we're going to talk about, the toy and the, and the real McCoy, and it is a model of an Alice Chalmers 220 front wheel assist tractor. This is a tractor that I've been enamored with for many, many years. I started our dealership in 1982 as an Alice Chalmers dealer and uh, in getting a library of service books from Alice Chalmers. I poured through them and uh, the 220 had a section on the front wheel assist tractor, which really interested me because I'd never seen one. And I kind of made it my goal to one day be able to see a real live 220 front wheel assist. One of our customers had a 222 wheel drive, one of our very first customers, and we sold him some parts for it and for some other tractors on the farm. And incidentally, it was the largest row crop tractor ever in action over the line in Warren County, just a few miles from here. So we'll fast forward a little bit to the year 1985, nine, I'm sorry, 1995, when this toy, the 220 Alice Shomers, was the official show tractor at the National Farm Toy Show in Dyersville, Iowa. And I scrambled around this morning, but didn't uh, find the picture I wanted to show you of my dear departed friend, Tom Steele, a dairy farmer from here in Kingsbury, and I standing in front of a real 220 front wheel assist in Dyersville, Iowa, the first time I ever saw one. I'm getting a signal from the cameraman here. I have that picture. Oh, you have the picture. Okay. Well, anyway, this is the tractor. It was the show tractor in 1995. It's a really well-scaled 220 front wheel assist, and incidentally, this one has, has no three-point hitch, which when I show you the real tractor, it doesn't as well. Most of the 220 front wheel assists that I have ever seen since 1995 have been equipped with a three-point hitch. And as a matter of fact, the only one I've seen that doesn't have one is the one we're going to feature here shortly. This is still a U.S. built Ertl toy built right in Dyersville, Iowa. So you'll see that although it's got engine detail and things like that, and if you look at the manifold, it says Alice Chalmers in it. I don't know, Dave, if you can get that. Just like the real tractor, this was about as good a detail as they did in Dyersville before the manufacturing went, what they say, offshore, which means China, the 51st state. It's got the pedals and everything, but it doesn't have any shift. Look at a cobweb, didn't come with it. But anyway, it's got the slab weights on the front end, and it is, without question, one of my most favorite toys. Hey, there's that picture. Snap a quick picture of that. There's my dear friend Tom Steele and I in 1995 in Dyersville at the National Farm Toy Show, standing in front of a uh, cab 220 front wheel assist. So enough about this toy that's very special to me. It's detailed amazingly well. This is not a custom built. I do have a custom that was done by Lamar's Toy Store that's got levers and everything else but this one for a uh, store-bought mass-produced die cast toy is just just an absolute beauty and dave's got one in his room as well and we've got several of them here in the museum and now we're going to focus over on the real track so last year march of 2020 we took delivery of this beautiful 220 front wheel assist it's serial number 2225 it is a 1970 model these tractors, there were only 100 made with front wheel assist. And there's a pretty good amount of them out there that are survivors. Uh, I've got a friend that, that goes to the Orange uh, Spectacular shows, and I've seen as many as, I believe, 14. And I bet you're watching right now, Luke. So just a little tip of the hat to my friend Luke Olson of Olson Tractor in Elmwood, Wisconsin. Luke's grandpa was an Alice Chalmers dealer. And I bought this tractor from Luke, and he did a frame-up restoration on this tractor, right? Took it down to parade rest. I've got pictures of the work in progress all the way along. These tractors, there were only 1,865 220s built in total from 1970 to 1973 when it was replaced by the Alice Chalmers 7030. This features a 426 cubic inch turbocharged Alice Chalmers engine. It's seven liters. It is the power plant that was in the D21 tractor, but the 220 took some of the weak links of the D21, which was absolutely loved from 1963 to 69, and beefed it up with a much heavier rear end. 
to stand the horsepower out of that big 426. Those of you that have been around tractor pulling circles know that the, the uh, D21 has been a favorite of tractor pullers for years, and my love for them started right at our fairgrounds in Washington County Fair with our friend Bob Raycraft, who incidentally, years later, got me into the Alice Chalmers business. So uh, he's no longer with us, but he'll never be forgotten. He campaigned a beautiful D21 called Mama's Thoroughbred, and I'll have a warm spot in my heart for Bob Raycraft till the day I die. Back to our 220 front wheel here. This tractor has a PTO, but does not have a three-point hitch. It is the only one like that I've seen. It makes this tractor extremely rare. Brand new rubber all the way around. Dave, look, focus right in here if you would. This has the dual wheel adapters, which are known as Mexican hat adapters that fit these tractors specifically, and then a set of dual wheels with power adjust rear rims. The spin out rims were one of the innovations of Alice Chalmers. They were the company that invented the power adjust rear rim. They also were very innovative all the way through tractor design, and it's unfortunate that they're no longer with us. Alice Chalmers started making tractors in 1914 and ceased making them in 1985, but they're known for a bunch of firsts. They're the company that, that uh, created the live power takeoff through the use of their power director that interrupts power between the transmission and the rear end, but allows the PTO to keep turning on the WD-45 tractor. In 1963, they put a turbocharger on the D-19 tractor and made it the first turbocharged row crop tractor ever made in mass production. They also were the first company to put rubber tires, believe it or not, back in the 1930s on a tractor, and they campaigned those tractors with a race driver named Barney Oldfield at fairgrounds all over the United States on oval horse tracks and car race tracks to show a land speed record on tractors. They put a high speed gear in, uh, on Alice Chalmers tractor on rubber tires and it uh, drew quite a lot of acclaim. So, uh, there's one more thing that they did first, and I've drawn a blank on it. Okay, that's something. I talked too much and forgot something. But anyway, Alice Chalmers was a very innovative company. Uh, this tractor was tested at the University of Nebraska. It's test number 1017, if you have the Nebraska tractor test book. It turned out 135.95 horsepower on the PTO, and it made it a leader among the, the uh, tractors available during that muscle tractor era when the horsepower wars were fully on. This tractor is the pride of our fleet. It is without question my favorite. It's a dream come true to have. It's a dream to operate, and uh, you can look it over anywhere you want, and you really find she's pretty darn flawless. Thanks to our friend Luke Olson at Olson Tractor in Elmwood, Wisconsin. Tractor has two rear remotes, 51 gallon fuel tank, super heavy rear end on it, as you see. And uh, she does, she'll never do a day's work again. But uh, she will be in plenty of brains. The tractor shows that we'll enjoy as time goes on. And just a glimpse, I thank you for sharing your time on this miserable January afternoon with us for. The Toy and the Real McCoy. We're going to do this again if you all think that it's worth watching and uh, try to share some of our stuff with you. And I'll give you a glimpse at what we're going to look at the next time. I don't know if it'll be next Sunday. It might be two Sundays, but it'll be a Sunday afternoon. And uh, it's going to be this 1456 with a Coleman front wheel assist. Also a beautifully restored tractor that we have in our collection here. And we're going to talk about spread power that day. Thank you all very much. Oh, please share this if you would. Sorry, my cameraman has to prompt me along. I'm going to give him a little chalkboard next week. But uh, please share this if you would. And uh, we're, <laughs> we're kind of amateurs, as you know, but we do know how to have a little bit of fun. We really enjoy tractors. I love them all. Big or small doesn't make any difference what the color is. And uh, I love trucks as well. We'll talk about them one day uh, as well. But please share this. Please enjoy it. And uh, God bless you all. Let's be safe. And uh, let's make the best of these bleak times. Thank you.